Warning. This movie contains adult, difficult to comprehend situations. It is offensive. It will make you question humanity. It will make you gag. It might even make you cry. But hey, no human centipedes. So there's that. Happy 50,000. Yay! I originally planned to do this one at 100,000 subscribers. I figured I was safe. Then this channel really started to grow. It, it was kind of blowing up a little bit. But then it started to slow down again, but I still wanted something outrageous to celebrate 50,000. So here we are. The Infamous, a Serbian film. Before we start, I need supplies, cat pictures, liquid refreshment, edibles, and my mitts. Okay, hit me. What? I, I gave him a job. I can't say no to that face. Mayberry 2054. Things have gone downhill since Aunt B died. Hey, someone scored. Get a room. Still, this is a very cl Whoa, it's one of those movies, eh? Oh, hi Cinemax. What a way to open a movie. I grew up with Indiana Jones outrunning a big rock. We go right into the business. Ooh, this is less fun now. Close your eyes, kid. Funny story, growing up, I was introduced to horror movies by my mom. So I'm there watching co-eds getting stabbed, slashed, eviscerated, murdered, left and right. One nipple on screen and she would cover my eyes. I turned out fine. So, Junior stumbled across Daddy's porn stash. Old story, it could happen to anyone. That's not mommy! Oh shit, the parents! You are in so much trouble, Junior. When I said this was Daddy's porn stash, it literally is Daddy's porn stash. His father, Milos, played by... this guy, is the star. Maria, his wife, played by... Yelena Gavrilovic... Yeah, that sounds right. Cool mom. They are much more understanding than I would have expected. But I'm afraid Junior's traumatized by the sight of Daddy's enormous throbbing schwanz. If they really wanted to be cool parents, they would have come back in a few minutes with a wet nap and a chicken burrito. A cartoon for grown-ups? I don't recall seeing porn stars on cereal boxes. It also comes in chocolate, but it costs more. Back in the cabinet with his weed and handgun. Ah, the glory hole days. Some backstory. Milos was a popular, talented porn actor. Very good at his job. Great Yelp reviews, 10 out of 10, would bang again. He and his talented wiener retired from the industry when he got married. But now, money's tighter than those virgins in every one of his movies, so he meets with a former, um, co-worker, Layla, played by her. She's got a tip. Tip, get it, because it's porn. About a new job, a new market for their industry, and it pays well. They'll be set for life. Remember this line? It'll be important later. They still have to address the video. Yeah, but when I had the talk, the birds weren't doing the bees in a dirty alley. Oh shit, he's got midichlorians. To relax, the couple watches his old movies and chill. I mean, really, she's totally cool watching him bang other women. He's hesitant to take the new job, but it doesn't mean he can't go in for an interview. He meets with the filmmaker, Vukmir, played by Sergei Trevunovic. I am not good with Serbian names. Nice to meet you. Can I have my hand back? He must really want Milos to work with him. He lays it on thick. Just aim at his chest, okay? So, what kind of package are we talking? Shouldn't that be my question? He's one of those artistic filmmakers. So are we making cinema or theme parks? I'm making a trilogy so Disney can make terrible sequels. Contract here? Just whip out that big veiny pen and sign away. He's hesitant, but he remembers- Lisa needs braces! He's apparently gonna be making a lot. What the fuck, are they paying by the sperm? Back in the game, it's time to get back into fighting shape and to lay off the bottle. He's got a little treadmill for his dick. His brother Marco is something of a slime bag. 
Brother Bear has a thing for the missus. The kid's right there, man. Yeah, go splash cold water on your face. Or you could just go summon Sticky Mary. Work for Ben Stiller, I guess. Vukmir still won't tell him what the movie is about. I bet I have a basic idea. He describes it like a reality show. Jersey Whore, Purviver, Temptation Island. Now there's a helicopter overhead. Oh god, it's YouTube. On the way to the shoot, Gigi! The driver, Rasa, gives Milos an earpiece so the director can guide him and keep in touch with the Avengers. Oh, I hate this gonzo shit. Hello, I'm Milos. I'll be reaming you today. I need to fire my agent. Jerry Springer porn parody? Yes, please. The next scene is shot on location in Pee Wee's basement. Hello, nurse! I'll try to warn you when I- Ooh, too late! <laughs> if you're gonna work in show business, invest in smudge-proof mascara. Trust me, my wife has a makeup channel. Milo starts his next scene, but wants to stop when his scene partner couldn't get a sitter. But they encourage him to finish the scene. I think this is how Jared Leto works. And she gets a little toothy. He's told to hit her, which seems counterintuitive. But she continues working him until he glazes her like a Krispy Kreme. All right, enough rehearsal. Let's shoot for real. Word on the street, Vukmir is a former psychologist who has worked in children's television. Ew. And he still wants to, apparently. <sighs> Man up, Nancy boy. Oh yes, now spit on me! Do I need to call HR? Milos wants out. The kid thing kind of freaks him out. When he asks who's your daddy, only one person should answer. Vukmir seems to be looking to capture the experience of being victimized and thinks audiences will identify or maybe take comfort in watching someone else suffer. I'm no art critic, but that sounds like artsy double talk for wanting to make something so edgy people just won't shut up about it. The art itself becomes secondary to controversy, but whatever keeps you in the spotlight, right? At least he's passionate about it. He shows them some dailies. High school health class? We meet again. A woman gives birth, and a man does things to the newborn. None of this is shown, but Milos' disgusted reaction is very telling. Ugh, I don't like season two of The Mandalorian. Come back, we're gonna get pizza and watch the human centipede. Four! Four! Ooh. <laughs> so Milos... He is so done, man. While at an intersection, he's approached by a strange woman. No, I don't need my windshield cleaned. She's looking to clean something else. He's feeling vulnerable and betrayed, and he needs someone to talk to. Dude, you're a married man. I know he's a porn star, but that was for work. Anyway, she doesn't seem the jealous type. And the rest is kind of a blur. He wakes up days later at home, alone. This doesn't look good at all. He could use some cranberry juice and a tampon. Hello, porn guys? And it starts coming back to him in pieces. That friendly lady actually works for Vukmir and drugged him before dragging him back to work. Mondays, am I right? He's drugged into a suggestible state where he'll mindlessly follow the director. That's actually how they shot The Wizard of Oz. He's super aggressively working with his scene partner. It might be consensual, it might not be but it's at least scripted to look aggressive. But apparently not aggressive enough. So they hand him a machete. What could go wrong? You gave him the dull stunt machete, right? <laughs> Cut. I mean, stop. He finds videotapes, evidence of what's happened, and fills in <clears throat> a few blanks. Well, that explains why he has his period all of a sudden. Also, there's some incriminating footage. Erase that, will you? I will. You won't forget? No. Lastly, his friend Layla won't play ball, so the ball plays her? 
She gets her teeth knocked out and murdered Kobayashi style. There is some symbolism here going on that I really don't want to explore. Then there was the time the mother of the woman he killed offered her granddaughter. Instead, he takes his own dick hostage. Everything is falling apart. He hides in an alley, for some reason, where he sees a girl being bothered by thugs. So he springs into action. The self-punisher. Hey, he's sexualizing her. Let's get him. Oh, thank God, the pornographers are here to help. Leave the wallets, take the cannoli. Tim Burton and Johnny Depp have an odd relationship. More drugs, but Milos finally decides to say no. And Milos remembers his final scene. He's in sort of a drug-induced episode, so he's just going along with everything he's told. He starts having sex with two people, hidden by sheets and bags over their heads. These Japanese game shows are getting crazy. But soon, he's joined by someone else. Hey bro. Blah! That's kind of a dirty sucker punch. The bags come off the victim's heads. Uh, Marco has Maria. Well, he's got... Oh god, I know where this is going. Yeah. Yeah. Oh god. I'm so sorry, guys. We're going to renegotiate allowance, old man. And at this point, everything just kind of goes off the rails. Milo starts beating Vukmir, just pounding his head into the floor. And Mama Bear attacks. Oh my, what a lovely tea party. Milos takes on Rasa. And what follows is the craziest way I've ever seen anyone killed in a movie. I'm gonna make this pencil disappear. He uses his still erect pencil and literally Skull fucks him in the eye socket. Ta -da! It's... It's gone. I wrote a few jokes about this part, but I couldn't decide, so I'm just gonna throw everything on the wall and see what sticks. Here they are. Say hello to my little friend! I never thought I would actually see a literal murder boner. This is such a mindfuck. The penal system is kinda harsh. You should see him make jack-o'-lanterns. When he died, the last thing to go through his mind was kinda sticky. Not now, I have a headache. Professor Plum in the library with a schlong. Meet Marvel's new superhero, Kakai. Cyclops was already taken. Didn't see that coming. I really have to ask, did he finish in there? <laughs> Wifey is still mad. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot of explaining to do. Everyone's home, but it's not like anything will go back to normal after this. How do you get past this? No kid will want a pony after this, and all the ice cream cakes in the world won't make up for this. They come to an agreement that there is no real other way of getting past this. You missed? You can't do anything right. Here, give me the gun. Fine, here. You're so fucking smart. Apparently, the contract isn't over at death. Oh, jeez. Whew. All right. That was a Serbian film. <laughs> that wasn't so bad, was it? This movie was designed as an anti-politically correct movie. A commentary on soulless, passionless movies created to make a buck. Such a tragic story usually begins innocently enough. A need for money leads to people to take risks that throw their lives out of order. Often this leads to an initial success before the other shoe drops and discover their success comes at a price. Here we don't have time for that. His life essentially ends when he signs the contract. When drugged, Milos becomes a mindless sex bot and everything that happens afterwards isn't even his doing. He's Forrest Hump but it's more heartbreaking knowing he's not even in control. Vukmir is an insane, sociopathic artist. Not much of a character to latch onto. It's about telling an effed up story. Do you wonder if there are really directors like this? Maybe? It's bloody, violent, misogynistic, unpleasant. The themes and ideas range from gross to revolting to crime against humanity. That said, 
This is a pretty well shot and acted movie. The subject matter is batshit, but at least it's competent batshit. Part of the movie has Milos trying to retrace his steps, like The Hangover or Dude, Where's My Car? This approach would be wasted on a less intriguing plot, but at least you get hooked. You want to find out what happened during that blackout. The flashes pique our curiosity, but they still don't prepare us for the results. Gratuitous just doesn't cover it. Was the newborn scene necessary? Did it add anything except push a bunch of buttons that should never be pushed? But the twist of an extreme porn industry and the extreme gore and violence makes this movie stick in your mind. Will you stop using that image? We need this crossover. I know I won't remember this movie for the story, but I'll remember the skull fucking. Its pace keeps the momentum going, but it's also relentlessly unpleasant, thankfully doled out in chunks. I don't think I could take it one after the other. A Serbian film is one and a half Bs. It's a good looking movie, and that concludes the redeemable factors. It's about ideas that are gratuitously tough to stomach. It's designed to shock, appall, and revile. This is not cinema. It's going on a roller coaster and losing an eye. Whew. Thank you so much for watching. Like, subscribe, comment the bell, you know, the usual YouTube stuff. So, what to do for 100k? I think I have some time. This movie is going to be demonetized so quickly, I'm going to wind up owing YouTube money. So, I have a Patreon, so if you want to support the channel, I'll see you there. This is the newbie, and I'll see you later, kids. Toodles!